Today, we're gonna talk about uh, Yesu Fusion and in particular, this uh, Yesu FT70. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna eat my words this time on K6 UDA Radio. For the money, I am very, very impressed with the uh, Yesu FT70DR. This radio is brilliant in its simplicity, probably without a doubt. The easiest radio that I have ever used uh, as far as programming it from the front panel. You guys know that I am a, uh, I'm a huge bells and whistles guy. I love my color screens, my big displays, uh, touch screens, everything that is cutting edge, I love. But this in its simplicity for what it is really has uh, found a place in my heart. And guys, here's where I eat my words. In the three mode shootout, the DMR D-Star Fusion shootout video I did a couple of weeks ago, I said that, hey, all three of these modes sound about the same. And that is true, absolutely true, uh, when it comes to using these three modes over a hotspot or over a, uh, over a repeater that's linked to a gateway to the internet because everything has to get channeled down into narrow mode and it's got to be compressed very highly to get over the internet and you know and, and get from radio to radio without a huge uh, time lag. Where I gotta eat my words guys is when you take this radio and you go radio to radio simplex mode over the wide digital mode. This, this Fusion radio sounds as good as analog. It is got incredible dynamic range in that, uh, in that space. And let's go ahead and test that. I told you before that all these digital modes sound the same, but here I am in wide, digital uh, voice and uh, this sounds very very good and now I'm in FM mode and this is on analog radio and it sounds equally as good K6 UDA putting this thing into a, into VFO mode programming in a frequency setting up tones, setting up uh, uh, PLs, offsets. This thing is just butter smooth, very, very quickly to do it. And getting onto Wires X with this is, it's simply the easiest thing, uh, the easiest digital mode that I have seen to date. So let's take a look at the FT70. The body feels solid. It feels like it's made of that high impact polycarbonate material. The buttons and ports are well sealed from the elements. The left side of the radio uh, has a power button, the volume control, a monitor, and the PTT. Moving to the top of the radio, there is a SMA antenna connector and a single multifunction uh, knob. The right side of the radio has three well-sealed ports. Okay, up at the top, you get a speaker mic jack. And the bottom two ports include the uh, USB uh, data port for, well, whatever, and uh, the charging port. On the back of the radio, you have the optional belt clip that you could put on with two screws. And moving to the bottom of the radio, the battery unlocks uh, by push button and it is locked in place with a little gray uh, switch. 
So let's take a look at the battery. Uh, like everything else on this radio, the edges of the battery are sealed with a little rubber gasket. It is a 7.4 volt 1800 milliamp with 13.32 watt hour uh, standard lithium ion battery. Reseating the battery on the uh, radio is very simple and straightforward. Pushes in, uh, locks in, and you lock it down with the gray tab. So let's turn this puppy on and get to the meat and potatoes of this whole thing. Right off the bat, one of the things that I would have liked to see Yesu change is uh, the ability to uh, lock the volume in so I don't have to use two hands to adjust the volume. Hey Yesu, if you are listening, maybe you could do that in a future firmware update. In its native position, the uh, top knob is used to uh, flip through either memory channels or VFO frequencies, whichever mode you've got that radio in. Okay, the group mode or the monitor there. Uh, very interesting concept. That one is, uh, is to enable you to filter out all the other stations and maybe just hear... Uh, just hear the stations that are on your list. Say you want to talk to family or friends uh, and you don't want everything else to come through. That's what the group monitor can do. And for you open spot fans and other hot spot fans, yes, uh, the FT70 is able to change open rooms and reflectors by using DTMF tones. Ah, uh, Wires X. Let's talk about Wires X for a minute. While the FT70 doesn't have full Wires X uh, integration into it, it does have most of it. You can absolutely uh, access Wires X from the uh, from the radio. Pushing the F key and the AMS key activates a Wires X node. And uh, then the selector knob can be used to, uh, to either manually enter a uh, room number or if you've got a few of them saved in there and you could save up to five of them, uh, you could just flip between them and hit the uh, PTT button and that will access the room. One of the things that I really like about the Yesu Fusion radios uh, that I equally like about the D-Star radios from Kenwood and ICOM is the fact that when you're either in a hotspot or you're in the Wires X mode, the other guy's call sign automatically pops up on the screen. I don't have to download a, uh, a giant user base with 100,000 call signs and names in it. And it's actually the same principle that makes the group mode work. And what it is, is inside of every fusion radio is a unique identifying number. It's built in, it's in the firmware, you can't delete it, you can't change it. And if you screw with it, you'll brick the radio and you gotta send it back to Yesu. So don't do that. <laughs> It works kind of like a how a repeater tone works. If you key up a repeater and you don't have the tone programmed into the radio, nobody else is going to hear you because it doesn't trigger the uh, it doesn't trigger the repeater. Well, the same principle works for the group mode on the uh, on the FT70 and all the other fusion radios. Um, I can set my radio up to receive a, a list of guys that I want to hear from. So if I want to, if I want to monitor all day long on America Link, but I don't want to hear everybody else, and I only want to hear from a couple of guys that are friends of mine, I could, if I make a contact with them first, I pick out their unique radio identifiers and when their radios key up 
that opens up my radio and then I hear that transmission. All right, through the magic of television, I get to now be uh, <laughs> getting over a cold and uh, you get to hear me with this nice hoarse voice. Hey, two, three days ago, I couldn't even talk. My opinion of the FT-70. Because this is a Yesu, it is, it is a great little analog radio. Uh, you can't beat it for the money. It is also with the Wires X and the Yesu Fusion uh, functionality. Very, very good. Add in, say, an open spot too, and this also becomes a nice little DMR radio. So you kind of can't go wrong with something like this uh, at, a, at about 150 bucks. What would I like to see with it compared to some of the other uh, Chinese radios? I would like to see, you know, slightly bigger screen. I would really like to see the ability to use more than eight characters in a name. That is probably my biggest gripe with this radio, uh, period. On the Black Friday specials that, uh, that came up last week, I ordered another one of those FT2s. And I'm gonna give the FT2 another shot at it. I'm gonna give it a better, I'm gonna give it a better and bigger shot because now at sub $300, uh, that radio makes a whole lot more sense to me. So I'm waiting for this new FT2 to come to me and, uh, and I'm gonna give that one a whole new review. I will take the time and, uh, and really dig into the thing. Uh, I, know, uh, I know Eric from uh, Ham Radio Concepts and Haas Nasi, uh, they both are big FT2 fans and <laughs> the peer pressure was horrible. I hate you too. <laughs> so I'm giving it another shot. And what I want to do to give back to you guys, this Christmas, I want to pay it forward. I have been extremely blessed in my life. God has been good to me. Uh, I've worked hard, but yeah, you know what? Uh, it's time to pay it forward. I'm gonna give my FT-70 to uh, somebody here on the channel. I don't know who yet. I'm also gonna give away the Retivas RT-95 that I had installed in, the, in my previous Jeep. I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna do it, but if you want in on this, be a subscriber here on the K6UDA channel. Also, follow my K6UDA Facebook page and my Instagram page. Um, you might be able to find that under K6UDA, but I think it's Bob underscore S3 Films something. I don't know. I'll link everything in the description below and I'll kind of set up the rules. Not, my, not much in the way of rules. This isn't like a big contest. What I'm hoping is that I could kind of pay it forward to, uh, to one of you guys, somebody who's just getting into the hobby or somebody who's just getting back into the hobby. Maybe you can't afford a new radio, but you'd really like one. So anyway, do that. Also guys, please uh, consider supporting me on Patreon or uh, even uh, like the little PayPal tip jar. And if you haven't seen my Jeep videos and that kind of stuff interests you, go ahead and click over to Safety Third Films and check out my Jeep series on building this beast. Uh, that's all I got this time. Hey, good radio for the money. If you like it, go buy one or hang out and see if you win this one. I'm Bob, K6UDA, and I'm out of here. 7-3, guys.